hi I'm really sorry for being away so long but I'm back as you can probably tell I'm not in my usual filming space so sorry if the acoustic of this place isn't the best I hope the light is quite better it's very natural it's not the usual spotlight I normally use so I'm, I'm glad that at least at that is quite better um, today I am still away from my place so this is a little bit of an experiment I don't know uh, how how long it will take me to post videos again but if I can I will try to film here so I can find a safe place like a not safe place I'm, I'm not in a war zone don't worry um, I'm going to try and find um, a, a place with Wi-Fi where I can actually upload the videos although it is not actually the normal environment that I used to film so basically uh, today I bring you a very special review that I wanted to film before but for several reasons I actually couldn't so today I bring you, I hope I'm telling it right 84 of Charing, Charing Cross Road by Helen Hanf which is a non-fiction book based on letters actual post letters and I adore it I read it way back in in the year but I really really enjoy it this tiny book that I mentioned in my previous in my previous video where I was doing actually a tag I, um, I said that I adore it and I want to explain you more about it as I said it's a non-fiction book written by Helen Hanf who was a scriptwriter for TV and other platforms and she uh, used to love uh, classic books not in kind of English literature classics but they are also mentioned in the book but I'm talking about essays and things like that and she she was quite of a squinted reader she knows a lot about literature and especially classic literature of this sort so because she cannot find it find the books and the editions that she wants in the in America because she's American she uh, decided to write uh, to a bookshop which is actually placed in that uh, address that gives the book the proper name 84 of Charing Cross Road and and in her case she uh, writes first asking if they could send books over to, to the USA and uh, of course the one of the booksellers Frank tells, tells her that they can actually look for the books that she has sent a list uh, for them and actually kind of agree to find a way of payment and send them to her so what well, starts as a kind of commercial relationship kind of customer service thing develops into a friendship because from book to book uh, Helen writes back to uh, Frank and they start and they start talking about her impressions on the proper book of if she didn't like the book or things related to literature and you could actually see how Frank starts being very polite and calm, you know, very, I'm, I'm the bookseller kind of type, so you are here to, I'm here to advise you. And they develop this kind of friendship by post, where uh, she basically um, makes jokes and he replies. And it's very, very natural, so you can actually see how the friendship goes. And is really really nice because they mention so many different books from what I read uh, as I said they mention essays they also mention all editions of Bibles and uh, they mention Jane Austen too although the, the, um, 
the proper the author says that she never quite got into Austin but she wants to give one of her best best friends a really nice edition of Jane Austen works so it's really interesting to see how from Hank uh, this kind of letters uh, got quite famous because he uh, starts taking this correspondence these letters like a personal thing it's not is they start being business but then they are personal because he he is talking to a friend to the point where the rest of the staff also because of the good things Frank tells about about uh, Helen they want to write her too and they actually do so she starts developing friendship also with with people uh, from the library uh, from the bookshop as well from other librarians or other staff in the in the proper proper uh, bookshop and it's really nice uh, I love how how even they got personal and she started writing to Han, uh, to Frank Frank's wife and it's really really touching um, I really adore this reference to books constantly these inside jokes that the people of the bookshop and her and her have and there's a point where she starts saying that she wants to travel to England because she always loved England but she even she didn't have the money to afford it so they are like longing for this face-to-face -face encounter not only Frank but the rest of the people who actually know her through Frank or through the letters because sometimes Frank is not around to answer the letters sometimes there's other people of the staff who actually do so and I am not a very uh, kind of non-fiction person I tend to avoid it because I feel like non-fiction is very heavy to me but with this one it wasn't that the case actually uh, with this one I had the feeling that I was writing myself to these these people because I cannot say characters they are not characters they are real people and it's really interesting how you got to know them and reminding I was reminding myself constantly that I that I was dealing or I was knowing more of real people of the real world and I find that the chance of publishing a book with kind of private information even if it's only literary taste is quite funny because uh, maybe through things that you consider private such as these letters that weren't kind of that were kind of joke kind of uh, literary discussion with all these people you could actually see or invite other people to join in because now or at least in the way I see it the reader at least me was very interested in, in books that maybe I never have the chance to read but at least you, you well they ignite ignite this kind of flame in me of maybe I should try these essays or maybe I should explore this idea or this outcome that I never heard of and it's really really touching to find a book like that that is solely based on personal documents that actually became universal because this is not a book that is very recent this is a kind of classic if I'm if I'm allowed to use that word this book was set in a very specific kind of uh, time period which is if I'm not mistaken uh, after the Second World War and uh, it goes farther and farther in time considering uh, how you know kind of letter, letters arrive to one country and the other and it starts after the Second World War when they had when in the UK they still have kind of control over the food that they were allowed to buy or pro pro proceed or kind of eat so this kind of friendship also is shown through food because they actually discuss how things politically are over one country and the other and see uh, the, the writer even contributes to improve 
the life of, of her friends, of her new friends, through sending kind of food that she knew they were going to last the trip and afterwards. So you can actually see how, again, the friendship grows into more kind of presence in the, in the sense of food. It's really interesting because I had, the, while I was reading it, I had the feeling that it's a little bit of what we do. I mean, with with distance, of course, uh, they were writing to each other first, asking for books, and then like giving those books or recommending new books or discussing certain books and later discussing personal stuff. And it's really interesting because with with you with the channel, although now it's a little bit kind of in in a pause, I feel like. I am talking about books, but then you give me the feedback, you reply to me, you even recommend me books, which I have a list and I'm actually writing down for, for myself. But it's a little bit like this, in a, in a written form, but I, you can actually see that we have formed a little bit of a, of a family, and I find kind of a very parallelistic situation with Hannah and Frank, the, the, the one I'm having with you on the other side of, of the screen. It's, I think this is a love letter to books, or how books can connect people in the same way we connect through books, you and I. Hank and Helen and the rest of the staff in the, in the bookshop actually did connect through book um, inquiries or book kind of petitions and I find it really interesting I really really like it, it's a really tiny book and it's very uh, easy to read if you are able to find it and to buy it please do so I think it's a book that everybody who loves books should read even if you're not kind of an essay type person um, what kind of book that it's center around books or that mention books often of uh, yes often would you recommend me or you don't read that kind of books let me know in the comment section down below and hi uh, if you are new my name is clara and i hope you enjoy this review this is a very very dear book to me if you are not new and you just discover that i post surprisingly a video I promise that I will try to do another kind of surprise upload soon. And I'm really glad that you are on the other side of the screen. I hope you enjoyed this little review and that we can actually go back to ordinary routine quite soon. I will try to post another re review soon and I'm I'm preparing a Jainer 2 to videos special. It's kind of an analysis of Jaina, so I will uh, record that when I'm in my usual place of filming because I have my books there, but I hope you actually uh, can wait to that because it's a very special book to me too. Bye! As always, you can follow me on the social media that I leave in the box down below, and I hope you enjoy this video. Goodbye!